Welcome everybody. Today we're going to take a look at the Crawford and Lipt LTech probe system in 22. First off, special thanks to Steven uh, from KNL. He provided the unit for this review and let me put it through its paces for today's video. Uh, so what we'll take a look at here is a comparison between the LTech probe system versus the OEM probe system in the FX Impact. We'll take a look at some of the features here and then also measure some FPS gains. First off, let's take a look at some of the features. Uh, so the thing that makes this the LTech probe system is the probe itself. So you can see the probe block pictured right here. It has and allows the probe to actually slide or you know move throughout it. And that's what makes this a very unique product. Um, so once you have this installed in your FX Impact, which by the way, k &L does have a installation video on their YouTube page, so go ahead and check that out. But as you go to cock your FX Impact, the probe carrier pulls back, locks back on the probe. As you go to load the round, it fully pushes the projectile into the breech. And then as you lock the breech, the probe retracts. Now, what makes this really unique is the fact that when it retracts, it retracts to right before the transfer port. So this gives you unrestricted airflow. Um, there's no probe in the way, uh, you know, no high flow pellet probe taking up volume. Um, so you do maximize the air volume with inside of that transfer port space. Um, you know, you also get some increased airflow efficiency. You'll see that when we review the FPS gains near the tail end of the video. Um, some other advantages to the system, uh, because this is a solid steel rod, uh, you do not have to worry anymore about any sort of bent pin probe or bent pellet probes. Um, this does have a chamfered edge, and you can see right here, it is a flat face probe. Um, so you don't have to worry about damaged or bent pellet skirts, uh, misalignment for loading slugs, um, you know, anything of that nature. So this is, uh, you know, very unique. It what makes this product, uh, you know, something special. And there are different calibers available. So this is in 22. They also have this in 25 and 30 caliber. Um, and this is a product that you can exchange the calibers as well. So you don't have to buy the whole buttstock replacement. So like I said, this is a buttstock replacement. Uh, so a couple things that are built in with this uh, that I think really add value and make this a complete all-in-one solution for your FX impact. Um, so first off, it does have an adjustable bag rider. Um, so that comes with it. Uh, you can see if you do not wish to use it, it is removable here, uh, but you can adjust the angle of the rider itself. It does have built-in length of pull adjustment and it is a quick adjust, so no tools needed there. And then as far as the butt pad is concerned, right now I'm running the PRS pad. Uh, there is a bench rest pad available that, uh, you know, is fully adjustable. So check that out if, uh, you know, that's your use there. Um, and other than that, uh, you know, it's just a solid, solid unit. Um, so you can see there's really no flimsy plates on this. Um, this is, uh, you know, solid machining. Uh, everything's bolted in place. Um, so really reduces the wiggle and, uh, you know, just makes that whole pin probe path um, a lot more solid uh, when this is installed in your FX Impact. So what I want to demonstrate real quick before we talk about results is just how this product works, uh, especially with the in regard to the pin probe here. So we're going to insert and let me just make sure we're fully in and then boom. And you can see that transfer port is fully clear. Um, so again, maximizing your air volume and uh, creating some more efficiency. And whether that means either FPS gain or the ability to turn your regulator down um, and maintain the same FPS, uh, this product will do that for you. What we are going to discuss next is the performance results. Uh, so I'm going to throw a little graphic up on the screen um, that will show, uh, you know, the various FPS averages and, uh, you know, shot results that I was getting, um, you know, throughout this testing. Um, so I tested, uh, you know, essentially two different setups. So I did a 100 bar test and then I did a 150 bar test. Um, both were done with a 600 and 700 millimeter liner. The 100 bar test was done with 25.39 JSB pellets. The 150 bar test was done with H&N 30 grain 0.217 slugs. 
Um, so on the Hunter Bar test with the JSB 25.39 pellets, um, the OEM system on the 600 millimeter liner was an average of about 894 FPS. Uh, with the LTEC system, I averaged 922 FPS. So that's a 28 FPS gain uh, from the OEM stock pin probe to the LTEC pin probe system. Uh, with the 700 millimeter liner, OEM, I achieved 926 FPS. With the LTEC system, I achieved 959 FPS. Um, so with rounding, give or take, that's about uh, plus 32 to 33 FPS with the LTEC system there. Uh, the 150 bar test, again, this was with the H&N 30 grain slugs. With the 600 millimeter liner uh, and the OEM setup, I was able to achieve an average of 958 FPS. And with the LTEC system, I gained 20 FPS average, and that was with a 978 average on LTEC. Uh, the 700 millimeter liner, uh, that was 992 FPS average. And when I did the same test with the LTEC system, that came in at an average of 1,022. So that was a gain of plus 30 FPS uh, with the 30 grain slugs. The LTIC system is, you know, successful, uh, you know, and what it's trying to achieve. Now, whether that is, you know, an FPS gain, uh, which, you know, this system can obviously do, or you're looking to gain some efficiency. And what I mean by that is you're able to either run a 600 millimeter barrel, uh, where a 700 millimeter barrel uh, would normally be needed with an OEM setup to achieve the same speed. Um, or you'd be able to back down that regular little bit, uh, you know, get a couple shots back and, you know, make a little softer and efficient so shot cycle, uh, you know, for your tune. So you can have it, uh, you know, either way, whether an FPS gain or, uh, you know, if you're just looking for a more efficient setup. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to roll the shot footage if you want to stick around and take a look at that. Um, you know, if you do enjoy it, uh, you know, if not, just want to appreciate you for tuning in and watching this little bit on the Crawford and Lipped. LTEC probe system in 22. Head over to KNL's website, check it out, and don't forget uh, they also have an installation video on their YouTube channel as well. Nine hundred. 